it is 21 minutes past eight on this Wednesday morning. Good morning to you all. All right, listen, Usher, 26th of February 2011. He is selling out. He is almost sold out. Phenomenal demand for this. Probably the biggest R&B star in the world at the moment. He's playing the O2 in Dublin on 27th of February 2011. And there's an extra date. We have got tickets for the extra date. The first two tickets to ever go on sale. They're not on sale until the end of next week with Aiken Promotions. We have got the first two tickets to see Usher on his second date at the O2. And yesterday and last night, I rang him on the mobile because I had to have a chat with Usher. I saw him at the weekend and then I said, we have to talk to this man. And this is what happened. Hey. Usher. Hi, how it's, are you? It's Hector. How are you? Hector, you know, is everything all right? Yeah, listen, great. I just had a great, fantastic chat with your PA. Yeah. <laughs> She's a good woman. Yeah, she's got, a, she's got a great story. I was uh, I was eight weeks in Canada filming a show. I have a show over here, and uh, I, I, I travelled the whole way through Canada. Little did I know I was talking to a Canadian. Oh, yeah, man. What do you think of them? Oh, man, so far so good, <laughs> from, what, from what I can see. Listen, how are you? Oh, man, I can't complain, man. Uh, I uh, I actually stand very proud of uh, of, uh, can, of can Canadians. Yeah, it's a great country. Yeah, great country. Second man. biggest country in the world. I, I, do you know what I did this morning while I was waiting for your phone call? I, I, I looked at a video of yours from 1990. You make me wonder. God, you looked like you were 14. Yeah, I probably was. <laughs> do you look back at stuff like that and you say, man, man, oh no. Or do you cringe and say, don't ever show me that again? No, nah, actually, I take each and every moment of it because... I recognize that I've been doing this for almost 16 years now, you know? I know. And now you're growing a beard. Yeah, man. Is that a wiseness thing? In some way. I think or it's or a, laziness I think it's a in the morning. Thing. I think that I've gotten to a place where I'm comfortable in my skin. <laughs> <laughs> or, or is it saying... You know, the, 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 the revolution was led by a ton of bearded men. Yes, you are right. <laughs> and there was something great in, in being able to be comfortable with your... your a beard makes you, you can rub it and con contemplate and you can put your hand to your, che your cheek and, and think. There you go. Now, tell me about Ireland. When, have you been, when was the last time you were here? Oh, man, it's been far too long. I know that much. Yeah. Um, Did you, you, know, you play here about, ten, was, it ten year, was it 10 years or so ago? It almost close. No, 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 not quite 10 years. But it, it definitely has been a long time since I've been uh, in the country. But I do know that I have fans there. Oh yeah, you and do. I do know that um, they've definitely been, uh, been receiving the uh, the latest album pretty well. Yeah, that album is flying, isn't it? Yeah, man. And to you're playing in a brand new state, a brand new arena. They say it's probably one of the best arenas in Europe. It's called the O2, right down by the river in Dublin. It's going to be packed for t and two it's, nights. Two nights it's sold out. Gonna be now, what do you know about Ireland, Usher? Come on, tell me what you know. Cause I, what, I, what I know? Yeah, tell me what you know about Ireland. I mean, the pride of Ireland or either the, the class of Ireland? Just tell me all you know. And it's like, whatever you, what, 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 what do you know about us? I know, you, I know there's a lot of lucky people there. In, in, <laughs> what, in, what, in what way? I mean, just the, the fortune of life and uh, the fortune of, of culture. Yeah. And... Uh, also in riches, man. Yeah, well, there's a stone in Ireland. It's called the Blarney Stone that mm. people go and kiss. And if you kiss it, you get the gift of the gab. The gift of the gab means we have the chat. We're able to talk. And I think that's what life's all about, being able to talk to people. It doesn't matter what color or creed they are. Yeah. And being happy with we, we, the way we are. Yeah, be happy as, as we are. You're right, man. You know, um, I, I got to get over to the I got to get over to the stone. You've got to get to that. Now, when, I, when you come out in the O2, right? I want you to turn around and you go, hey, I'll, I'll kiss the Blarney Stone. Wait you see the reaction. Now, if you have to remember, it's called the gift of the gab, but if you, you have to lean, climb up this castle in the middle of the country and they lean back over a 100-foot drop and then they kiss the Blarney Stone. So uh -huh. you can remember that now. I'm also going to ask you about this oh my G. Is it oh my gosh or oh my God? It's oh my gosh. Now, because I, th I thought it was oh my God. My mother thought it was that. My wife thought it was oh my God. Uh, it's oh my gosh! I mean, I was very, I was cognizant of the fact that people would definitely react to gosh. But then when I went to France and I realized that God is gosh. Yes. Then I was like, okay, I guess I, I didn't, I didn't quite make it over the hump. But <laughs> for the most part, um, it's a statement that we all use, kind of in passing, yeah. and it's not meant to be, you know, blasphemy in, in any way. Well, no, not not in the slightest. But uh, when we would see a very good-looking girl in Ireland, we'd say, "Oh my God!" But we'd also say, "I'm gonna." We'd say, "Oh sweet Jesus!" And that would be a real a way of saying it. If you come out on stage in the O2 when you're singing that song, the Dublin girls speak in a different way than most of the country. 
uh, their, ac- their accents is very, all right, Usha, what's going on? How are you? I love your stuff. Do you know what I mean? That's the way that people talk in Dublin. Imagine, what we'd love you to do is come out on stage and go, oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Could you imagine? I tell you, on front of four, OSJ, oh, we turn do it. We'll do a special remix for Ireland called oh, OSJ. OSJ, I'm, I'm telling you, Usher, if you walked out in front of a packed O2 in February next year and you go, oh, 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 baby, let me love you down. There's so many ways to love you. Oh, 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 sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the girls in the front, Usher. They'd love it. OSJ, is that the new version we'll do? <laughs> if, there, if there's any place it will work, I know it'll work in that market. <laughs> yeah, it'll work in Ireland because what goes yeah, on in yeah. Ireland stays in Ireland. And the, we have the, we have a, you know, we have a good fun at concerts over here, and people like to enjoy themselves. No doubt, man. That's another thing that I do know about about Ireland is that I, I did have a great time, great energy. Um, man, it knew how to drink and actually hold the liquor. Have you ever um, have you ever partaked in some of the Irish Guinness? Uh, actually, I have. Yeah. What uh, we say, a pint a day keeps the doctor away. I don't know if I can handle a pint a day. <laughs> <laughs> and come here. What are you doing in Germany, man? That must be funny. One minute I see you singing on X Factor in London with Simon Cowell, and now you're over at X Factor Cologne. Hey, man, they got me moving around a lot, but you know, you know, these shows um, are um, you know kind of kind of like the new age. A connection really yeah. to the entire market, and it's a good, it's a, it's a good, uh, you know, start getting your album out there as well, and just doing the promotion of it. Where are you going after Cologne? I go home, man. It'll be my birthday on the fourteenth. So Fantastic. Thirteenth and, and back. What are you going to do? Chill out, have a good day. I'll be with my children, man. I have a five, uh, I have a five-year-old and a six-year-old, two boys. I call them Seek and Destroy. Seek and <laughs> You do have to give them cab. Yeah. yeah. So, so do you know, I, I've I got think t- I got um, many boys of you. Bad and badder. Oh, man, my little lung lads are <laughs> so full of testosterone. They just run the house. They run the remote control on the TV. They run everything. They even know their way into town to get to the toy shop. Yeah, man, mine are just about there, but they're one and two. <laughs> just getting warmed up. Come here, listen, uh, uh, let's go back to Atlanta. I know you were born in Dallas. I've been in Dallas. It's a great town. Yeah, I was born there. I didn't spend much time there, but born in Dallas and then raised in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Good stuff, Chattanooga. Yeah, I've been in Memphis and I've been in Nashville. I've been in all those places. Great mm-hmm. places. Listen, Usher, don't forget when you come out on stage, what you got to say to the Dublin kids? OSG. OSJ. OSJ. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> Usher. Listen, respect and uh, the best of luck with you. We will see you in Ireland. The place will hey, be man, full. Amen. I'm hoping for the gift of gab when I come to Ireland. You'll too. get the gift of the gab. I'll come looking for you. Remember, you spoke to the Hector. Mass more to go to on Usher. I'm speaking some Gaelic to you now. Yeah, man. Thousand years old. Mass more. Big respect going out to Usher. Mass more to go to Makadi on Usher Posse. Yeah, man. Yes, man. Oh, sweet Jesus. That's Usher. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> See you later, man. <laughs> <laughs>